So let's start. So I will start with adding a plane, basically, and I will rotate it by 90 degrees. I will move it in front of her and I will go to edit mode. I will move it down because I want to start from the lips. I will subdivide it so we can add the mirror modifier. So let's delete the left side. Let's add a mirror modifier. Okay, it's good. And now I want to do the approach. There's a lot of ways to retopologize your character. And I saw a good uh, fast way uh, from Zaka Zacharias Reinhardt. And I think I will use it, but typically I uh, start with manually. I do it manually, so I uh, extrude every vertice and then I just place it because I don't know, I just prefer it that way, but we will make uh, the more faster way. So uh, first thing you have to do is to add two more modifiers. So you have to add subdivision surface. So we want to subdivide this thing and we will uh, change the type of subdivision to be simple. So it will be sub, uh, subdivided, but it will not be smooth on the side. As you can see, if you have cut move Clark, it will smooth everything. But if you have it simple, it will not smooth it. Another thing, uh, another modifier you have to add is, uh, I think I will not need those two. So I'll just go to layout, I think. No, it's... Okay, I will just go to my my one and I will just uh, join these things because I will not need them. Okay, so we will need one more modifier which is shrink wrap and shrink wrap will basically shrink the, the mesh, this mesh onto uh, this face. So we just have to select target and as you can see it's shrink wrapped on her but it shrink wrap it wrongly so we have to adjust things so if you go back to the uh, edit mode you have to move everything closer to her so it will uh, project it correctly and also we we can make one more thing to make it easier for us so we can enable the snap so it will snap our vertices when we move, as you can see. Okay, it's not snapping. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, now it's snapped. If you move move it with G, it will snap to your uh, character. And this will help us a lot. And I will change the offset to be very small number. So 0 0.001 or maybe 0 0.1. Oh, it should be backwards. It should be minus. So, so let's do it on the minus minus 0 0.001 so you can see everything that is in front of her so it will stick out so let's go to the mirror modifier modifier and let's enable clipping so we can join these two vertices together and in this tab you should have uh, snapping on face so it will snap on face and you have you should have uh, not project onto a self you should have project individual uh, elements and that will be good so now if you start moving you can see that it's uh, snapping to our character like this and important thing is that I have a reference here you should write face topology uh, and it should give you uh, the rough idea of how it should look so here I have the the picture and as you can see uh, you have to define few main loops so for example uh, here on the eyes this is a, a main loop around the eye and also ar around the, the lip you also have a loop and around this part you also have a loop and basically about around whole face you have this nice topology thanks to those uh, main loops that you define at the beginning so we will start from them and you just have to look uh, on from like on the other uh, topologies from other people 
I'll keep it on my second screen so I can use it. Okay, so now let's see. So I will first define the loop around the mouth. So let's select those two vertices. Let's extrude them, rotate them a bit, extrude them, rotate them a bit again, uh, extrude them, and you just repeat the process till you have a loop. I will extrude again. I will rotate it. I can move this more to the right, also this more to the right. So it will not touch the, the lip, it's uh, basically around the lip for now. Let's select those two, let's extrude them, rotate. And just keep repeating the process till we can close this loop like this. So we have the first main loop around the mouth and it looks some something like this basically. And you can smooth it out by playing with the vertices. So I think here I can add one more vertice and to one more loop, I would say, and just play around to see if it fits nicely. And this is our first loop. So let's go to the eye. We will first define those loops and then we can connect them. So I will select some random edge. I will click Shift D to duplicate it and move it. Uh, around the eye, so somewhere like this. I will scale it down a bit and I'll start extruding again. So don't uh, worry about how far you should extrude, just keep it uh, more or less uh, to be a square. So this should be some like something like square. Just try to keep it quite identical. Okay, and now let's go to the side a bit. Let's extrude it here. I will scale it up. And now we can wrap around like this. And retopology is quite a uh, boring process and quite a uh, long process, but it's quite, uh, I don't know, satisfactory. Satis I, oh, I forgot how to say it in English. Uh, when you do it, it's quite, it gives you satisfaction basically when you finish it. So let's rotate this. And let's join this too. So I'll select those four. Let's Click F, let's add the middle loop and let's move it here. And let's change everything a bit to make everything more uh, square rich. Okay, this should be fine. So you have the main loop on the eye and on the lip. And that's, that is a good thing. And we will make one more loop, which will be around uh, our whole face so it will start from the nose and it will end on the chin so let's select one more, more edge so I will select this edge let's shift D it so let's duplicate it and basically let's extrude but you can't extrude when you have clipping on so let's uh, disable clipping let's extrude it out and let's enable clipping again so now after you have this first loop uh, on the mouth now you should try to follow uh, the the edges of this. So here I have the edge here also, and it should be more or less the same. Okay, so let's extrude it here now. Let's select this, extrude it. Extrude again, let's rotate it a bit and let's extrude it and it should match until here until here and now it should go uh just just try to make it again a square and it should just go up and up till it meets the nose so we, now we should start follow this uh line like here i'll try to follow them so they will be 
in, in the same space between each other and now we can extrude it here and I think I can extrude it one more time and let's connect them okay so now we have those main loops as you can see here and we will try to connect them in the next part guys so this is the end of the first part where we uh, made our our main loops so you can preview it by clicking uh, backslash on your numpad or clicking shift h so i'll click this slash so it will go to local view as you can see here you should have here and you can see how it looks so basically that will be it for this uh, part guys and let's save the project and in the next one we will try to connect them so thank you and see you